I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. All right, going for a little impromptu arcade update. There's the man. <laughs> I just walked in here, and I didn't realize how much progress was made. So uh, I figure I must walk in here again and show off the action. We got drywall. Lots of it. We've got insulation. We've got vapor barrier. We've got outlets galore. Look at this. The entire ceiling is complete now. Got lights. <laughs> and we got lights. We got electricity. We got light switches. Yeah. These are the ones for all up, up the top. Okay, that's going to be all like the shelving lighting? Yeah. Look at this shelf. This is pretty wild. All cool stuff will reside up here. And then these are all the pot lights. They're supposed to be like dimmable and color changing, but uh, the Wi Fi signal is sketchy. So. I'm just happy, I'm just happy they're on right now. Yes, you have light and you have insulation galore. So it's a little more cozy to work in here. There's almost no echo anymore. Dogs are going crazy as usual. Look at these guys. So this is the uh, drywall lift there that helped with the uh, ceiling operation. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is cool, man. This is very, very cool. I uh, actually have a little something for your shelf that we might have to go uh, grab. Shall we go for a little walk? Let's go for a walk. Follow me. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. I got to make sure uh, doggies don't get out. Okay, here we go. This is uh, Santa brought you something for your shelf. And I don't know if you've seen this in the basement or not, but this is for Dutch. From Santa, and this is for you. Whoa. I don't know. Did you ever see that in the basement? I didn't. Actually. No, sweet. Okay, that's awesome. That is OG, brother. Uh, I believe has all the guts in there still. That can be right wired up and lit up. So Very cool. there we go. There is that. Thanks, brother. Yeah, man. Kevin is in a hole of sorts again again black hole you could not escape man what the fuck we tried to escape this man why are we back here <laughs> look at this we've got parts galore all over this is all going to get uh polished, polished. And 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 sanded and cleared this cabinet's going to get you have a set of decals for it, you said? Stencils. Stencils, I mean, yeah. Yep. So it's going to get the treatment. Oops. Here's more black hole parts. We got the head frame, light panel, play field, Bottom play field over there. lower play field, oh, this is the head frame. and more parts here. It's a lot of work, man. And then you got to, oh, I keep yeah, kicking that serious. thing. I, wherever you put it, I'm just going to kick it. There's no safe spot. Your black hole is a, almost looks a little green hole there, but I guess that's just part of the art. Yours is just looks a little more fluorescent-y than mine was, but not all were printed equally. Um, yeah, so, and they're working on Stellar Wars, I see. This is Dutch's project. Oh, look at this. It's already cleaned and rubbered. Plastics look good. Playfield looks pretty good overall. Yeah, he's got to here. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Nice. Back glass. Uh, yeah, it's not bad for a Stellar Wars, really. These Williams ones just do crackle like crazy. And I heard... Paul Dewar was by and uh, brought you a little gift for yeah. your World Cup. Oh, 
which looks friggin' amazing. Holy crap. Yeah, it's kind of tucked away. We really need more room. <laughs> uh, because almost, almost. Corey's Robocop is kind of blocking the path there. Robocop! Corey! <laughs> That's their London pinball for you. Yeah, look at this. That is coming along, but... Yeah, your back glass is in pretty crappy condition. But Paul Dewar and Hudson Dewar. Came to the rescue. Yeah. They've had this sitting in their place for about 25 years. So I guess Paul lent his World Cup machine to a dude so he could fix his own World Cup machine uh, for a customer, which he did. And then he promptly sold Paul Dewar's World Cup machine. But good thing Paul kept his World Cup back glass back because 25 years later, it has found a good home. Look at that. And it's, uh, this is not a reflection of this. This is two World Cups. This is Kevin's old one. A little crusty. But yeah, this is much better. Yeah. So, Paul Dewar came through her. Nice. Oh yeah, and that's more black hole parts. Black hole, black hole. Yeah, and both these, glasses. These are nice. Front glass and back glass. Oh yeah, that is really nice actually. Yeah, look at that. What's going on? I just need What is this? The Dutch oven? Dutch oven. Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I never noticed that before. All right. Well, and if you want to buy yourself a nice future spa, come grab this baby. It hasn't sold yet, so it can be yours. Oh, look. More black hole parts. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Okay, last thing, we gotta do a quick unboxing video. I came here to get some parts as well for magic. But, okay, see this box here? How much do you think that costs to get it shipped from Marco to here, London, Ontario? So you said it was 67, but was that US or Canadian? Uh, Canadian 67 Canadian, okay. And then how much on top because of duty and tax? 99.11. 99.11 on top of that. So, you know, it is what it is. We got to pay because we're not in the same country. Do you want to bust this guy open and we'll see what we got? All right. Let's see. Box full of pinball parts. This is always fun. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I ordered these. Thank you. Are these the... Point seven five inch. Well, that's whatever number you gave me. Yeah, you know what? The thing I think though at Marco, every time I order from Marco, this part number at Pinball Life says at Pinball Life it's three quarter inch. But I think this happened to me before. But when you order them from Marco, they're one inch. So. Is that one inch again? I believe these are one inch. Yeah. Can you uh, get three quarter inch. I have some. Uh. Sure, I could maybe trade you a couple if you're if you ever in the need for uh, one inchers. Oh, is this my ribbon cable? What? Corey owes me a ribbon cable. I wonder if this uh, is it. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Actually, I think I got one inch as well. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man. These are see Marco's got it wrong. These are one inch. Damn it. I know. We need the point seven five. I mean the three quarter inch. Well, same thing. Okay, so I'll put that in my pile. We got some... These are like Tales of the Arabian Nights rubbers. But they're used elsewhere. Okay, uh, ribbon cable. That might be for me because I lent or gave Corey one. And he's going to replace it. We got some new balls. We got switch target faces. Another ribbon cable. Is that for Stellar Wars? Uh, no. I love Corey's stuff. Oh, okay. Lamp sockets. Ah, oh, flipper rebuild kit stern. That is magic. Got some light bulbs. The 906s. Lane guides. Lots of stuff here. We got more switches. What's Corey working on these days? Do you know? Uh, Tommy. Tommy. Oh, right. I think he did mention that. Okay, so we got some locks, ball kicker arm, 
I'm not sure. Maybe that's Tommy. I wonder if that's a Data East. This does look like a Stern part number, so that's probably for Tommy. What is it? Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Here's my rollover. Sweet. Hey, how did you get your rollovers out, by the way, when you said you removed a bunch uh, from your uh, big Indian? Uh, did you heat them up? I didn't. You I didn't heat them up? Them with a punch. Oh, I got the flash on. I won't stick it in your eye. Oh, you kind of just tapped it around like yeah, a around, little. Around the edge. Yeah. Really lightly. And, and it... Eventually just worked its way out. Yeah. What is this? Oh, more locks and keys. Okay. Oh, we, need, we need some for all this things. Rubber. Fuse clips. Oh, this is like a um, drop target horseshoe for Williams. Horseshoe contact blade. There's all the damage there. Oh, showing off your address again. Tommy. Oh, okay. Little, oh, cute little propeller. And that looks like probably Stellar Wars decals. Very cool. Ah, all the fuses that I blew on Magic, I can finally replace. I got to get my uh, breakers to actually work. And some more sockets. So. Here's my pile. There we go. Parts. Yay.